Hello, everybody, and welcome to Lord Winklebottom Investigates. This is a point and click, I believe. Um, there's no sound right now. It's very jarring. I want there to be something so I can make sure all of my levels are okay. But we're just going to go into this and just hope for the best. Start demo. It did that on purpose! Oh my god, he's dead! The master's dead! Oh, that hurt my ears so bad! Fuck you, game! Frumble. That was quite the case, wasn't it? Oh, indeed so. Or well, you made the evening edition, <laughs> don't you know? I picked up a copy when I went to buy the boat ticket. We'll be quite the heroes, I think. Hopefully they don't dwell too much on the part where one of the weasel gang cracked you over the head with a pool cue and nearly made off with all the gold, eh? Huh. Wretched blighter called me from behind. Just not cricket, is it? Still, all worked out in the end, my friend. And just in time, too, as we have this party with Admiral Gilfrey to attend. Look, who is this chap anyway, Winklebottom? Gilfrey's an old school friend of mine, top of his class, went on to become an admiral, then, latterly, undertook a number of privately funded expeditions to all four corners of the globe. Ah, a bit of a swat then, eh? We have no time for his sword at my school. Evidently so, my friend. Right, let's get this boat ticket and be on our way. Where is the ticket anyway, Frumble? Oh, I slipped it in the newspaper for safekeeping. What an introduction. What a way to start this out. Okay. Wow. Scarf? I'm rather fond of this scarf. Shame it's a bit on the short side, though. Truth. Sent mysterious invitation. Lives on isolated island. Admiral Aristotle Gilfrey. Lovely chap. Winklebottom cracks the case. A touch sensational, but they appear to have got most of the salient facts correct. Never mind all that. What did it say about me? Ah, well, let me see. Yes, here it is. Lord Winklebottom was assisted, as ever, by his associate, Mr. Frumple. Mr? Dash it all. I didn't spend eight years in medical school just to be called Mr. Bunch of bloody hacks. Well, never mind that now, old boy. We have to get going if we're to catch this boat before nightfall. No, I'm quite vexed now. I shan't leave until I've had a fresh cup of tea to calm me down. This one's practically tepid. Oh, very well. I'll make you a fresh cup. The pot should be ready now. Ah, here's the ticket. I'll keep hold of this for now. Okay. Check your notebook regularly for notes Lord Winklebottom has made about characters you've met. I already did that. I'm so ahead. Ooh. Now to pour some out for the good doctor. Okay. A pot full of- ooh, that goes by so fast. Waiting to be poured. But how do I- One of Frumble's mini teacups. I don't know how to- how to point and click. Oh, there it goes. And in with the tea. One of Frumble's many... I'll take this. Good for the old bones, you know. It's quite charming. Everything that's happening that's right now, up. I'm really excited about. Like... Here you are then, a nice fresh cup of tea. Ah, that's much better. I could I'm tell like by the screenshots. Did you put the tea in first or something? Ah, uh, was that wrong? 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 What sort of animal do you think I am? A most fine one, my friend. Come along, we need to be off. I did it out of order. Says we have to meet a Mr. I can't Winters make a good docks, cup of tea. And he'll sail us out to Gilfrey's Island. Oh, very well. I suppose this will have to do. Tea first, I ask you. Ah, just smell that salty sea air. It takes me back to my childhood holidays on the coast with Gilfrey. Even then, you could tell the old boy was destined for a life on the waves. Don't much care for it myself. Went on a ghastly school trip to Blackpool as a lad. Tried to go on a donkey ride. 
Donkey was furious. He told me I was too heavy. <laughs> well, never mind that now, old boy. We need to find the docks and this salty Walters chap who's going to take us over to Guildford's Island. The rule is, if you're going to have, like, anthropomorphic animals as your characters, you have to make jokes like that. You have to. No other options exist. Name me in your bleeding crooked canine. Oh, uh, hello, sir. Sorry. In a bit of a jam here. A good day to you, sir. If bleeding well isn't a good day, that reprobate Walters has locked me out of my own pub. I do apologise, sir. Shouldn't take it out on you, like. But he's going to drive me out of business if I don't get back in there to stop him. Indeed so. Quite the predicament. So this is your establishment, I take it? Indeed so, sir. It used to be my father's. But I took it over as the oldest of the litter. We do a good trade serving the sailors and dock workers, even if you have to put up with less savoury characters from time to time. I say, Uncle Bottom, I do hope he's not talking about the chap who's meant to sail us out of the island. Can we help you get the door open? I'm rather afraid I have business with this Walters fellow. He's bleeding well gone and locked the door from the inside, and my spare key is in my bedroom on the top floor. How am I meant to get up there? Sounds rather like your fault, eh, what? I do have a certain talent for retrieving things from high places, yes. Oh, if you wouldn't mind, sir. It's a window on the right up there. Not the left one, that leads to the hallway, and we had it sealed up as it lets a proper terrible draft in right through the pub. We'd catch our death if you open that one. Okay. Oh, oh no! Well, I can see them, but they're rather frustratingly out of reach. Lord Winklebottom committing common larceny? Most certainly not. Oh. Can I find... like a... A number of wooden barrels. They all seem to be sealed up and in use. There's like rope and stuff. Surely there's something. A number of wooden barrels. Ooh. That's My a... steadfast companion and colleague dot original Frumple. It's a weird transition. Picking up litter, eh? Very public spirited. Okay. Can I use that? This seems unlikely to be effective. Do it anyway! Is this how point and click games work? I'm not quite sure what I want this for, but what did I do? <laughs> logic. Point Name and click in logic. Creed K9. Oh, uh, hello. Well, goodbye. I say, don't you. Okay. One of the old English kings lost his head in the Great Frog War, if I remember my history. Careless, if you ask me. So if I can't reach the... Oi, keep away from that window. That's in a terrible draft, it does. But don't you have someone in there that... would fill that draft that would come out? I'm trying to figure out a logical you know, way through this. You might be able to make use of this saw. Blimey. Not the friendliest chap, is he? Let's take this with us, just in case. I say, old chap, a moment of your time. Greetings, my good man. Good day to you. What can I do for you? I have a ticket for conveyance of myself and my colleague here with a Mr. Walters. I, I wonder if you know the gentleman. That lay about. Oh, I know him all right, but you'll not be going anywhere with him till he pays his docking fees. Nobody leaves this dock without my say-so. No docking fees, no permit to leave. I say, Winklebottom, this Walters fellow sounds like a flaky sort of character, what? Well, can we discuss this permit? How might we obtain a permit to allow us to leave the dock? Well, you could get Walters to pay his docking fees, but that's not likely to happen. Tell you what, I'm a bit short-staffed today. So if you help me with repairing this ship, I'll give you a permit. I was going to note that that ship looked like really that. jank. I have a surgeon's hands, don't you know? Well, what can we do to help? I can do the actual work, but I've run out of wood. I need some planks or something. Very well, we shall obtain some wood for you. Also, this barrel of tar here solidify. I don't need much, but I need a way to melt some of it. Some way to melt the tar, I see. Shouldn't be a problem for a genius like you, eh, what? 
Well, what can we do to help? I can do the actual work, but I've run out. Very well, we should. Also, this bear. Some might have melt. Shouldn't be a problem for a chief. Right then, Frumple, let's see what we can do about getting hold of this permit. Okay, so we need wood. And we a need. Bird hook. This should come in handy. A melting device. Ah, perhaps this is the vessel that Mr. Walters will be using to convey us to Guildfrey's Island. Dashed well, hope not, what with that blasted great hole in the side of it. Excuse me, sir, would you mind? I say, there's really no need for that. Fearsome looking blighter. I'm keeping well away. I'd really rather not. Why not? It'd be funny. I'm not really sure what the plan is here. Throw a bottle at him. I have reservations about doing this. <laughs> you know, Frumple, we might be able to... Blimey, not the... Okay, so I gotta get rid of the bird to get the saw to get the wood to build the fire. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go this way? No. Let's see if I can get this now. Ah yes, this seems to be just the ticket. Perhaps I should keep this hook for collecting out of reach leaves. Good plan. Let me in your bleeding creek. Okay. Well, goodbye. I say, don't you have to give him the keys, gotcha. Here you go. Right then, this should do the trick. Thank you kindly, sir. Right then, let's see what that bleeder has been up to in my pub. Huh, wouldn't fancy being in that fellow's shoes, eh? Let's go in. You're bleeding well paid for this, Walters. Look what you've done. This bleeding barrel is bleeding well empty now. <laughs> Get out, yeah? Keep your snout out of me business. I'll be leaving on my own time. I won't be taking no orders from a landlubber like you. I say, Frumble, this is the chap who's going to sail us to the island. Fellow looks like he's barely able to stand, let alone sail a ship. All right. Hey, get your pilfering paws off those glasses. They be mine, you hear? Oi, what is it? Greetings, my good man. Well, spit it out. What be you wanting, stranger? You are Salty Walters, I take it? That I am, and don't you be forgetting it, neither. Then you are to take us to the Isle of Barghest. No, I be staying here with me drinks. I'll not be sailing today, not for you or anyone else. I say, you rotter. We have tickets, you know. Pay for in advance. Nah. <laughs> Now look here, you bounder. We have tickets, and you will jolly well sail us out to that island, dash it all. I won't be sailing today. I drinks me beer to wash away the terrible taste of the salty seawater. Ate it, I does. I'll not be sailing again for a while, now that I've got that accursed taste out of me system. Ironic that a man named Salty should hate the taste of seawater, so, isn't it, Frumple? Yeah, that's inconvenient, if you ask me. I want to know oh, how goodbye, Frumple then. always Hello, has a hot tea. Wear, thanks to all that beer. I need to, I need to understand his secrets. I say, Barkeep, would you mind awfully if I took this empty barrel? You'd be doing me a favour. That beer-soaked bulldog has emptied it anyway. Damned if I can figure out where you keep all this stuff, Winklebottom. This fireplace is as cool as the atmosphere in here. Since the landlord is looking the other way, perhaps I might borrow this for a moment. I'll be sure to return it, naturally. So fellow's probably used to things going to walk about in this place anyway. <laughs> but never petty larceny. Get your bleeding hooves off. Uh, I mean, would you mind leaving that where it is, please, sir? Oh, Lisa, doesn't know those are days of these thieving bleeders. Shifty looking sword, if you ask me. What makes you say that? He seems like a perfectly fine gentleman to me. Can't rightly say. Something about primates. It's the eyes, I think. Ah. Something in them that's almost not animal. Get it. Good jokes. I have no idea what these are for, but they look terribly nautical. No, I don't think this. I say, Winklebottom, that fellow looks like a bit of a bore. Eh, hey, what? 
Yeah, it's very good, Rumble. <laughs> good job. Good job. Okay. I have reservations. Why? This seems unlikely. No, I don't think this. I'd really rather not. Can't even chip any out with this. We'll need something hot to melt the tar, I fear. Okay. I have not made any progress. Here you are. A barrel. It's made of wood. It's a good effort, but I can't very well plug this hole with a wacky great barrel now, can I? Maybe if you broke it up or something. Okay, that's what I figured. I have reservation. But I'm, I figure I need this, so I have to get rid of this. Excuse me, sir. <coughs> I say this. There's some looking glass. You know, Frumple, we might. <coughs> Blimey. Hmm. Ah, smell that, my friend. Ugh, oh, disgusting stuff. Can't abide seawater. Tried to swim in the sea on my holiday to Blackpool and I got a mouthful of filthy stuff. Disgusting. Well, you should really keep your head above the water, you know. Easy for you to say. My head is rather closer to my body than yours. No, I'll stick to good old-fashioned wallowing. Thank you very much. <laughs> um... Oi, what is it? Well, goodbye. Hello, seems more than a... <laughs> the painting of a ship. It's perhaps not the most refined piece of artwork I've seen. Probably for the best. I wouldn't hang anything valuable in this place. Not with their clientele. Okay, let's see here. You can prod at those logs all you want, it's not going to spontaneously combust, you know. Yes, thank you, Frumple. This seems un... And uh, no, sorry. How can I help you, sir? I wonder what you can tell us about the sailor that's been slumped over that table over there. The bane of my bleeding existence, that's what he is. He's cleared me out. Can you believe it? Drunk all me bleeding beer, he has. Very bothersome, I'm sure. I say, old chap, any chance of lighting the fire? There's a bit of a nip in the air, after all. No bleeding way. Cost me money, that does. And with that waste of space drink me out of house and home, I need to save every last shilling. It'll have to get a lot colder here before I start a fire. I say, old boy, would you mind awfully letting us have that jug of rum you're sitting on the bar over there? Well, suppose you did help me get back in the pub. Fine. You can have the bleeding thing. On the ass, lot. He won't light a fire, but he'll give me a whole jug oh, of rum. Thank you for your time. Very good, sir. We should take our reward with us. No, I don't. No, I don't think. Maybe I can get this seagull drunk? Here you are then, sir, some alcohol. Perhaps this will quench your thirst? I say, need to rip your blasted hoof off. Oh my goodness! Well, that seems to have calmed him down considerably. Though I can't help but feel we aren't really helping the poor wretch here. Now this fellow has calmed down, I'm sure he won't object to us borrowing his saw. <laughs> he doesn't mind a bit. Now, Frumple, you hold on to the barrel and I'll attempt to chop it up. Careful where you're waving that thing. No other doctors around to patch me up if you slip, you know. Will this do the job? Ah, yes. This'll do nicely. I could use this wood for me repairs. Okay. So, I need to make fire somehow. A collection of barrels. Seem heavy, so they're all in use. So, let's think here. 
empty rum jug, a saw, poker. I haven't used the rope for anything. What could the rope be used for? I'm not really. Ah, uh, no. I have no idea what. These are made by the finest craft sources. How can I help you, sir? Well, thank you for your Very good, sir. So maybe I need to make it colder in here because of the draft. I get it. I get it. Now, let's see if we can't get this window open. It's no good. Stuck you another go. Probably just been painted over. Well, if you say so, just one more. Oh. Oh dear. Well, I didn't go entirely according to plan. How awfully embarrassing. Still, got the job done, what? <laughs> so now it's cold, right? I say, it is rather chilly in here, what? Yeah, it's colder than Poseidon's drawers in here. Oh, for goodness sake, I'll have to light the bleeding fire now. Okay, now how do I collect the fire? It's no good. A rope can't get any perches on the smooth glass. Now to heat up this poker somewhat. Yes, that's done the trick splendidly. Be careful with that thing. Don't want to burn a hole in your breeches. And since we know that his tea is permanently hot, we know that this poker is also permanently hot. That's how that right works. Then, Just watch this. Yes, the hot poker is melting through the tar like butter. Oh, what a noxious nip. Let's get rid of the stuff quickly. No, I don't think... This? Uh, no, so... Oh. This is just what I need. I could use this to waterproof the repair. Thank you for that, fellas. Now I could repair the hole in this boat. First class job. Even if I do say so myself. Well, nobody else is likely to. Well, with that done, I'm finished for the day, so you're both free to go. Give this permit to Walters and let him know his death is cleared. Best time. Okay. So now I just need to convince him to actually sell. Should be easy enough. Oi, what is it? I say, old boy, we have a permit here. You're free to leave the docks whenever you wish. Does that long neck of yours make you hard of hearing or something? I already said I'll not be leaving here while I still have me drinks. Oh, uh, this is just too much. You, sir, are a, a cad, a, a bounder, a, a, a dash brother, hang it all. Steady on there, old boy. Well, goodbye then. It's too far. Well, it seems more than a little worse for wear, thanks to all the Frumple, you gotta chill out. Okay. So he needs no drinks. How do I make it to where... I'd really rather not. He has no drinks. I'm not really sure. And no. And no. I'm not really sure. Oi, what is... Well, good fellow seems more... That'd be my nigger even scallywag. The sailor's glass of beer. One would hope it's his last. Okay. How can I help you? I wonder what you can tell us about the sailor that's been slumped over that table over there. The bane of my bleeding existence. Very bothersome, I'm sure. Well, thank you for your... Very good, sir. Huh. I have, I have not used the rope, and I have not used the bottles. It's no good. The rope can't get in. I'm not really sure. And I have really cut his head off. Doing this. Do it. Hates the taste of salt. Okay. I got you. I got it. I got it.
I might be able to get some seawater in this if only I could get low enough. Low enough. Small boat. I say, Winkle Bottom, have a look at this tiny little boat. Wouldn't fancy my chances to run across the sea in that thing, eh? Quite so, old man. I'm not really sure. I say, Winkle. Quite so. How does. I say, old chap, a moment of your time. Well then, thank you. So if I get... I might be able to get some seawater in this if only I could get... Huh. No, I don't think this... I say Winkle Bottom. I'm quite... Boat hook. This seems unlikely to be... Just look at this disgraceful attempt at surgery. I should be thrown out of my profession if I treated a patient like this. Rumble, if you're patching up your patients with tar and planks of wood, I fear you're risking rather more than just your career. <sighs> okay. I have to get the seawater into the bottle to add to his drink so he won't want to drink anymore because he hates the taste of salt. I've got that much figured out. Uh, oh, disgusting. Well, you should really keep... Easy for you to say. My head is rather... There's a boat? No, I don't think... I have reservation. And... It literally says boat hook, though. Like, surely. There's nothing there. And no. And... And... You know what, Rumpel? I'm rather inclined to leave this... No, I don't think this... And no. I might be able to get some seawater in this if only I could get low enough. There's a boat right there! I say, Winkle Bottom. Quite so. Get in the boat if you need to get lower. I don't understand. I have risen. I'm not risen. Where could it be? This seems unlikely to be. I used I used the boat hook to get the keys, right? So I have used that. I have not used the rope. No, I don't. And I'm not really. Oh, it's no good. The rope can't get any perches on the smooth glass bottle. I've tied the rope. Ah! 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 I figured it out. I'm a genius. I am. The most intelligent. Now I'll lower the jug down. Okay, now. There we go. Let's go. Let's make this man drink seawater and hope he doesn't I die. What be you playing at? Get out away from me, beer. Try to finish, sorry, old boy. Gonna need to distract the old curmudgeon if we're to get near his drink. How do we distract you? Oi, what it? You are so That I am. And then you are to take us to the... No, I be... No, say you're rotter. You have tickets, you know. Nah. Well, goodbye. Hello seems more than... That. I'm not... 
This seems unlike. I'd really rather. That's over at the bottom. Yeah, it's very good from Paul. And no. Uh, Terrible siren song me that. Last orders are upon us already. Quick, you rapacious rapscallion. I be needing more beer. Quickly, while he's not looking. Just pour this into his beer. Ah, what be this foul flavour? Me last beer is ruined and that pickaroon pig won't sell me any. Do I take it you might now be willing to carry out your job? No reason not to now. Maybe the Admiral can see his way to providing me with a bit of the old grog. Go way back, him and me. Shall we meet at the docks then? Aye, I'll be waiting in me vessel. Make it quick, mind ye. Alright! My word, there appears to be a storm coming in. We must make haste and get out of the island before it hits. Go fast! Even with that rather slapdash repair job, this still looks considerably more seaworthy than Walter's boat. We're going to smash the smithereens. I just know it. What? This is your boat? Wait, you don't mean this is your ship? Aye, that it be, and what of it? I just don't think it looks particularly seaworthy. She's a fine vessel. Served me on many a long voyage she has. Besides, I'd be the only sailor in dock right now, so you don't have a choice. That's not terribly reassuring. Should we set sail for the island then? Aye, that we will. Only permits are in order. I hate this plan. For the Isle of Barkest. And we all die at sea. Good game. As someone who has played Sea of Thieves from the rowboat. They're perfectly seaworthy. You can travel a long distance in a rowboat. Well, that was cute. I, I didn't expect it to be fully voice acted. That was a surprise. Quite enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I will leave the link to this game if you want to check it out. I'll leave that down below. I'll also leave a link to my Twitch if you want to check me out. That'd be cool. And, uh, yeah. I, I enjoyed this a lot. It, it confounded me for stupid reasons, but that's usually why I like point and clicks. You know, just spending half an hour trying to, like, figure out what combination of things you have to mash together to solve the puzzles. That's, that's the true power of the point and click. And, yeah. I feel like this is going to be a good one. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.